we're responsible for providing uh, repairs, logistics, and technical support for specifically the F-35 fighter jets. So we have tons of accessories, engine controls, uh, actuators, and the list going on and on. My job as operations manager is to uh, make sure that, you know, components that come from the field and we bring it in, we send it to the depot, uh, make sure that everything goes run smoothly and then uh, repair it and then back to the customer in a timely manner. You know, I started my career here at Collins Aerospace in 2007. Started as a mechanic, uh, quickly realized that I wanted more. So I uh, started taking advantage of the uh, company employee scholar program. I went off and got my bachelor's. I also explored and got my MBA. So what that did, it kind of set me apart from my peers. So I transitioned from, the, uh, from working on the shop floor to being an electrical engineer. My biggest inspiration is my father. You know, he came from Vietnam as an immigrant during the war and then become eventually an engineer for the depot. And then, you know, that really inspired me. He took me out to the uh, air shows a lot. And then as I saw that as a kid, you know, definitely made me uh, think about getting into the aerospace industry. I'm Jacqueline Grenier. I am a F-135 warehouse associate for Collins Aerospace. To be successful in this industry, I think you really need to communicate well with others. You need to be a great listener, um, collaborate with, with your team and help each other grow. There's just so, so many opportunities in science, business administration. You don't have to be an engineer. You don't have to be a mechanic. Like you could be in the office and still make a difference. I really wanted to use my experience and recognize that it doesn't matter where you are in your career or what level you're at. As long as you, 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 know, you focus, you believe in yourself, and again, surround yourself with really positive influence, I think the sky's the limit. So I, I would highly encourage folks to just continue on your journey because it could happen for anyone.